In 1978, two young girls in the Berkshire Hills of Massachusetts published a book of poetry. Over 10,000 copies were printed. They sold out in three days. They were what is referred to today as phenoms. Their story has been forgotten. sweet the winds are in the spring, when no frosty chill of winter lingers. Murmuring breezes as they come and go seem caressing you with loving fingers. And the sky is soft and hazy blue, with the snowy clouds across it flying, and the thrushes fill the air with song, and the winds are whispering and sighing. Elaine and Dora Goodale grew up on Sky Farm in Mount Washington, Massachusetts, known in tourist literature of the late 1800s as the town among the clouds. It was and is a tiny community on an isolated mountaintop in the Berkshires. In 1878, when they were 10 and 13, they completed the verses that were published by Putnam's as Apple Blossoms. Apple Blossoms was an immediate sensation. And because of its huge success, the extraordinary Goodale girls from the Berkshires became known as the Apple Blossom Poets. They were compared to Lowell, Emerson, Holmes, and Whittier. Some critics compared them to Chaucer, Milton, and Shakespeare. Readers were enchanted by the book. The little girls' portraits were requested, sent, and placed carefully in living rooms all round the world. The girls were steeped in nature. They were keenly attuned to the natural world about them. The seasons were like old friends who returned to visit every year. Mount Washington then, as now, is all forest and field. It is a place where the unspoiled wilderness reigns. The contrast of deep woods and meadow, sunlight and shadow, was a musical theme throughout their poetry. A bit of woods. A little gushing brook o'erhung by trees. The stately chestnut and wide-spreading oak, the wind that whispers low as if it spoke to birds and blossoms there, a quivering breeze, a shadow on the ground where you can trace the graceful outlines of the trees above, that stir wherever breezes shake the boughs and silently and softly bend and move, the purple blossoms that are flung around the faint anemones that trembling blush, the carol of the bluebird or the thrush, and fair arbutus trailing on the ground, the sun that smiles upon them from the sky and throws his rays among the treetops tall, the bee that buzzes in the flower cups, the sense of peaceful stillness over all. We are part of nature. Let us, with the extraordinary Goodale girls, 
look to the wild world as a profoundly wise teacher who has so much to teach us, if only we will listen. In 1953, 74 years after the publication of Apple Blossoms, Elaine and Dora died within 10 days of each other. A chance to enjoy verse which is strongly metered and rhymed, a pleasure to recite out loud, honest sentimentality, and love for the true and the simple is the invitation the extraordinary Good Ale Girls of New England offer the reader of today. We hope with Elaine that time will touch the seasons of nature and the seasons of our human life.